Hi guys, this is Ovi here with uh, my Skyrim gameplay. I'm gonna call this series Skyrim One on One, and I decided to do this for two reasons: because there are a lot of people who are doing this that are cursing a lot in their videos, and I didn't want to have that. Uh, there's a younger audience that watches those kind of videos, and I wanted to be friendly to that sort of audience and not have vulgarity, if that's a word in my videos. And second of all, I wanted you to see my experience of Skyrim through my eyes. I'm using a lot of mods and probably two of the most noticeable ones are Frostfall and uh, Real Needs, which enable me to get damage from not being warm enough and therefore it's very hard to go into the cold areas without gear and proper uh, resources. And the Real Needs one, what it does, it uh, makes me have to eat. So I have to uh, feed, I have to drink fluids and live pretty much off the land otherwise I will die and because I do not use fast travel as you will see this makes it a challenge to survive and that's the main reason I'm putting those up so you can see how the gameplay would be like if you did that yourself and how immersive you can get and Skyrim's an adventure as it is and with all these implemented it just makes it that much more fun okay uh, some big basic information here this is my companion Serena I've got her from the vampires quest and I've um, gone through a lot of trouble to get her armor and enhance it and make it better um, and I also gave her the sword uh, this kind of sword that when it's wielded by a vampire creates a 50% more damage and magica and absorb so I thought it was appropriate and this is Vondorf it's my character uh, as you can see, he's wearing a lot of fur-related fur items because uh, I play like a hunter slash survival, so I have to uh, be warm. Um, so say hello to Vondorf. And I also have two kids that I've adopted, Lucia and Ethel, and I don't know if they're home right now. Let's check. They are not home right now, but I will show them to you in another video. Okay, so let's get with this. I am out of food and I am out of firewood so I need to go first get some game and then also harvest some uh, wood and then we will go on an adventure on a path I found right outside of Skyrim and we'll see what happens oh one last thing I don't comment throughout the whole video I will try to keep it uh, to the basic level of commenting. I want you to get into the game rather than just listen to my voice and my accent, which sometimes you can't understand me. So, one last thing. Actually, <laughs> this is the second last thing I need to say. If you do like the videos, just press the like button so I know that you like the videos. And if I have enough, I will keep making them. If I don't have enough, then I will not make them. Okay, enjoy it. I like to keep my city clean, it's where my house is. <laughs> I should probably fill in those awkward silence moments, but I will not. Just for the sake of it. <laughs> I am drenched, so I need to drink some water. Let's see, can I drink some from the stream? I believe I can, but I do not know, I do not know how. By the way, the bar on the right uh, yellow and red, it's my warmth bar that shows how cold or warm I am. And then I get those messages saying if I'm hungry or not, or if I'm thirsty or not. Um, let's get to the wood first, I believe. We can do that right here. Let's 
six pieces of firewood is all I need. It takes that many to start a campfire, so I won't harvest any more for now. And there's my game. Let's be sneaky about this. And as you notice, I use a hunting bow for hunting. I, I thought it might be appropriate. Nailed it. And always take your arrows back. And I have five venisons. This is nice. It's uh, actually a good uh, yield from this game. Let's gather one more. I need to kill one more. Mammoth are also a good source of food, but as you can see there's the mama and uh, it's cubby, so I will not kill it. I don't think it's right. Probably should have considered the same for the deer, but you know. Let's see if we can take off this buck over there. I missed. Let's try one more time. Missed once more. I need to get closer. I knew I heard something. Being hit. Oh my god, saber cats. Let's see what you have. Saber cat meat. Well, it looks like it's that buck's day. We do not have to hunt him anymore. Alright. Saber cat pelts are worth a lot of money. I have a mod that enhances that, so hunting them becomes profitable. And I shall take this one and sell it back at the town. I think we've gathered everything we need. Let's go on our little adventure. Uh, first of all, I need to call my horse. That path I was telling you about that I found is up here, and I do not know where it leads yet. But as you can see, it is very cold up here, so if you gather resources you will make it if you don't and you just venture without anything you will probably die what is this place oh, there's a frost stroll gold. <laughs> That's one rich frostfall. Oh, I'm sorry, not frostfall. <laughs> Frost troll. <laughs> I probably still said it wrong. What is that over there? Another one. Let's see if we can pick it up from further away. so fast. I did hit it though. 
Let's try one more. Ah, he moved side to side. It's a smart one. Okay. I'm gonna use oh, my arrow. And finishing blow. Good job. As you can see, we are starting to be very cold. It's starting to be blue, so that means we are in need of heat. So let's make a campfire right over here. Aha, uh -huh. need to be on the ground itself. Okay, let's do it over. Can we do it here? Nope. Perhaps I'm not able to do it in this location. Let's go outside the city. There's another one. Who's there? In the heart. What is this? This is why I love. This is why I love Skyrim. The immensity of it and the beauty it generates when you just travel along, you find all those ancient ruins, and the adventure that waits upon you mesmerizes me, and it's what makes me want to come back and play some more. And also, adding those mods to immerse yourself into the game as I am right now, uh, just adds something unique to the game. Let's try to do it here. Yes, we can do it here. We added our firewood, and we have to start it. And we'll start it with a torch. I try to limit my use of magic to make it seem more realistic. You don't have to, though. I know how to do this with a torch. Can I do it with a torch? Perhaps not. Okay. Alright, and there we go, we have a fire. And Serena, if you would move, come back here. We're gonna pitch our tent for the night. Pitch it somewhere there. That will not work. There. Did we place our tent? I think I failed the placement. Okay. Oh no, I didn't. It just takes some time. Okay. Well, here it is, and as you see, my bar is back to yellow and red, so I am comfortable. And for now, I am going to sit in my bed 
I can. There I am, all comfy and smooth. Okay, so I'll end the video here, and next time we'll go into this ruins and see what we have to find, and maybe cook one of our Venuses. Okay, thank you for watching. This is Ovi with my character Vondorf. And remember, if you like Skyrim 101, just hit the like button so I will know. Thank you. Bye-bye.